This isn't clickbait. With the success of the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel launch campaign, we're able to give something back to everyone who has supported us by adding in bonus features, even a freebie. Not kidding, okay? Uh, what is it? Well, uh, let me let me explain. So in case you didn't know, the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel is alive on Indiegogo and it's almost running out of time. So if you haven't grabbed your copy, grab it now <laughs> before you can't get it. These are collector edition hardcover uh, versions of the graphic novel. It's not going into print and demand. You will not be able to get the hardcover in these collector edition covers, okay, after this campaign closes. They are collector items. So if you want to get these special covers in hardcover, grab it now. And also, Leatherbound. Leatherbound is available right now. It's premium. They look incredible. And we are at $370,000 US, which is amazing okay uh, i'm really interested to see where this can go um uh, before the end short time now what are we able to do uh give some uh, you know free stuff to those who will support us so to everyone who has bought a physical copy okay this is if it's a graphic novel novel everything like that we're able to throw in special collector cards okay done by some great artists in actual fact you can see some of the concepting of these collector cards on drawn and quartered which is uh, the uh, special live stream that mike s miller the artist of shadow of the conqueror enemies herself uh, does on his channel blacklist universe and so we're thinking uh, actually because the great artists some of the art that's being drawn there we're gonna either use them or get other things that we can commission to do special uh, collector cards as part of this campaign and give those out for free to everyone who has uh, grabbed a physical copy of anything on the campaign okay add those in but then we're all we're also able to uh push some things to get even better quality for instance the leather bound because things have been so successful we will be able to do gilded um paper on the air. see how this has got gold on the air on the air on like there that's coming on the leather bound as well both the graphic novel and the uh first edition novel so that's awesome and things are really moving ahead i want to show you the uh, finalized covers remember how i said that uh, we the covers i showed were basically uh the, the concepts and we're finalizing formatting things like that the spine hadn't been done and the back hadn't been done now the spines are done the back is done the front's Covers, are done, they're all finalized, and I'm going to show you how what they look like. And so this is one of the primary covers. It's called The Light, right? And then you see the primary cover for uh, the, the second one. This is the Dalen cover. This is the Canaan White cover, okay? And these are the final ones in terms of the positioning of uh, the logo and things. They look oh, just beautiful, right? Now, with each one of these covers, there's also... The cover of the second edition novel that you can get on the graphic novel as well with and so the difference between this and the um, uh, second edition novel is it has the logo from the graphic novel okay now with each one of these covers all right uh we have a spine and back this is the spine for each one of those covers all right we've got chronicles of all shadow the conqueror enemies itself mike s miller shad brooks and this is the back cover or uh, that and each one of these ones will have the same back cover. It's got a brief blurb there, you know, the tale of a deposed tyrannical emperor who embarks on a journey towards redemption. And then a little bit of information about this is the first volume of the graphic novel adaptation of Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror. I actually really like it. it blends in really well with the spine. And uh, and so uh, that's the blue. And then you get, and it's kind of a, you know, different thing with, um, it's got one, it's the line work of one of the covers with the pop out Dalen on the other. And what you'll notice here, see, it's there's a logo. What logo is this? Well, I mentioned that I have registered a new company that's going to be uh, basically overseeing and controlling the publication of all these uh, properties because I'm not just doing one. I'm expanding. And I'm going to be doing, of course, the second volume. I've got the Star Wars like space opera. If you want to know, if you really want to know the details on that, I did a live stream on Night's Watch talking about uh, that. I intend to make 
something that could replace Star Wars and how I plan to do it. Deep dive into the world building, the concept work, lots of concept work, like images, spaceship designs and things, all on that live stream. So check it out if you haven't seen that. And so that as well as, because I'm using the success of Enemies of Self to just push further, to go further. And uh, the more success, the bigger that we can make this, the more I'm going to reinvest to make even more awesome content for you and the uh, company that will be, you know, ha this is all going to be done under is technically Honor Guard Productions. That's the logo right here, Honor Guard. And uh, the logo, of course, is going to be on the cover as well. Ah, but what about the covers for the second edition novel? Because you can get the, uh, there's a new cover right here. This is what it looks like. Looks really, really good. But you can also get the graphic novel covers for a limited time as a collector edition version of the second edition novel uh, through the Indiegogo campaign. And each of those have custom spines and backs. And so the spine is here. And man, I just, that the cover looks so good on the spine as well. That mm, I'm very happy with that. And the back of it as well. This is the uh, blurb that you get on the first edition novel. And of course, with the new cover, looking great and uh, printed under the Honor Guard imprint. So that's really cool. And this is what one of the collector edition graphic novel covers looks like for the second edition novel. It's got the same font as uh, the uh, standard you know, cover will be, but in a different color, different composition stuff. And then of course, its own spine. That's what it looks like. And the back cover for the graphic novel covers for the trade novel. It's getting me confusing which ones. They all have the same back cover. And that's what it'll look like here. You know, who better to fight the monsters of the world than the greatest monster the world has ever known. But uh, it's got the blurb that matches uh, the, uh, the text, uh, you know, trade novel with the Honor Guard imprint. This is the light cover for the second edition novel and we the spine, look at that, looks great. And the Kanan cover for the second edition novel with the spine as well. These are the final covers that uh, we are sending to the printers. Now, when the printer has them, we need to make sure because there's actual interesting additional things that you need to do to get the covers. They need like a bleed kind of border, which gets wrapped around. For instance, if you look at uh, the first edition novel, okay, um, the bleed is the part that gets wrapped around. See how there's a wrapped around line here? Uh, and you can do that if the cover, uh, the actual image of the cover extends so much and then you get, have the bleed edge to wrap around and then it gets seamed and so with these ones there's going to need to be added like a bleed thing on the edge that will then get wrapped around like that uh, for both um, uh, well mainly for hardcover novels and also the graphic novel I believe as well so there are final formatting things that we're working directly with the printers right now to get it all done and uh, Remember, the graphic novel is complete, and so once these are finalized and the, uh, the launch campaign closes, we're almost ready to just make the print order and then focus on fulfillment. Because the graphic novel is done. It's ready to go. We'll be able to get this to you guys as soon as we can, but much sooner uh, because a lot of projects usually use uh, a launch campaign to fund the production. The production's done. I have shown what we're aiming for the leather bound to look like uh, concepts. I'm going to show it again because they look amazing. So we've got embossed and debossed effects, foil effects and everything. And so we've got that for the, um, of course, the trade novel leather bound as well as the graphic novel leather bound. It's premium and they look it's going to look so nice, right? But what you get with the leather bounds as well is Inside, so when you open the, the kind of first page and there'll be like a, like a border page as well, you will get each of the covers inside the leather bound. So remember how I said the leather bounds are premium? So each of the covers are actually inside the leather bound, but they're unique versions of the covers with no logos or text. And so when I say each of the covers, that includes the first edition cover. And so if you want to see what the first edition cover is and have a version of it with no text, that's going to be in each leather bound, both the graphic novel and the trade novel. It's going to have the new cover, okay, both by Chris McGrath, which is just, they look amazing. Uh, no text as well, as you can, so you can see what the original cover was just uh, in its pure artwork, as well as each of the graphic novel covers as well on the inside. And on top of that, only in the leather bound is a higher, better version of the Everfall map in color. 
check out this map. This was actually made by Dylan of Deradia Productions. And he, of course, he based it off my original map. And then he's made this. And uh, and this will be in the Leatherbound. This beautiful, high-quality, coloured map of... Uh, Telos, that's the name of the continent of Everfall, and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, sorry, when I say the leather bound is premium, like seriously, list all the things. We've got gilded edges, we have emboss, deboss, foil effects with uh, colored maps, and all the covers interior inside the leather bound without text, and uh, so premium high quality leather bound, no expenses spared. And so if you want one of those premium items, the leather bounds are available, very short time left. So if you really want those, grab them all while, while you can, has all those awesome features. Again, like extra covers, colored map, gilded edges, emboss, deboss, foil, so nice. I love leather bound like you might be able to tell, and uh, seeing the uh, Enemies of Self Graphic novel and the trade novel Shadow of the Conqueror available in Leatherbound, I can't wait to get mine. I can't wait to get you yours. And remember, to everyone who buys a physical item, we are giving you for free collector cards as well. Might be part of a set because we're going to do different ones for the Volume 2. Collect them all. They'll be collector, you know, items, collector cards of these launch campaigns. So get them all. And to get them, grab a physical copy, okay? You'll get the cards for free. It's all there, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, thank you to everyone. This is our way of thank thanking everyone who has supported the campaign. And if you haven't grabbed your copy, grab it now. Because also, guys, the... The regular graphic novel, okay, that's that's hardcover, and but we're selling the hardcover at the cost of a soft cover for this quality, you know, release, and it's not going to be available after the launch campaign ends. We're not sure if we can extend it because there's a price increase with the printers. We're looking at we like look, we might be able to extend the launch campaign a little bit, but we might not. It's literally out. We don't know yet, and so. If we can't, this is your only chance left to get these collector edition covers. The graphic novel, okay, there's not print on demand after this. The campaign is not going to be open for additional sales after this. It will be closed. Last chance to get it. We'll be focusing on fulfillment and the second volume and my other projects with the close of that campaign. Uh, grab it while you can. Once again, thank you to everyone who has supported this project. This has been a big, bigger success than I was expecting, okay? I had kind of the projections where I think it might have gotten and it has blown past those, which is just amazing. It is so awesome. And it, I'm, I'm just so excited now to keep making great quality stuff for you guys to enjoy, okay? Awesome stories, escapism at its best, with no political axe to grind, just something fun for people to enjoy, not to lecture to you or anything. Stories about heroes, villains, redemption, forgiveness, sacrifice, all those great themes that just inspire us to be better. I love those stories. I was inspired by those stories as a kid. Star Wars, He-Man, Superman, Spider-Man, all those things, okay? Just, I love those fantasy worlds and they inspire me to want to be the best version of myself I could be and unfortunately it seems like that type of media is problematic in the current landscape and I, I disagree I think these things are inspirational and so I want to make this type of stuff for a new generation that seems to not be getting that from the current mainstream because of this success I can do more the more we push that the more successful it can be the more I can reinvest and do it. I'm already not only just doing the second volume of Shadow of the Conqueror, remember, I'm doing a space opera one with all the great themes that we loved about Star Wars. And I, I have this superhero universe that I want to also produce at the moment, you know, with the campaign. It's not enough to invest fully in the superhero universe. Uh, but if it gets even further, perhaps I could add that project in with the th two projects that I'm already absolutely have the resources to produce the best quality possible. I'm going to get the best artists, artists, best writers, best colorists, and I think that there is evidence that when I say I'm going to produce a top tier quality product, the best that you can make, a professional quality product that you would expect 
that Marvel would have made when in in their height at Marvel at their best, not Mar current Marvel, where oh, the art is just really depressing and stuff. I think there's evidence to show that I do that. When my novel was released, I got one of the best cover artists you can buy, Chris McGrath. I get the two best audiobook narrators you can get, Michael Kramer and Kate Redding. And of course, I put in years and years of study practice to be the best writer I can be to make a story that people really, really love. All right? And I want that. I want this to be some of the best stuff that you can get because we want good media. All right. And, uh, and these new projects, when I say that they're going to be some of the best that you can buy, I mean that. Literally. Going to be reaching out to the best artists in the world. It'll cost an arm and a leg. That's the thing. This is, this is the thing about making such high quality stuff. It costs a lot of money, but because of the excess of enemies itself, we have the resources to do that for two projects at the very least. It costs a lot of money pro to produce enemies of self, all right? Because you need to invest it. You need to do the... It's a risk, okay? You know, if it doesn't pay out, pay off, you've lost the money. But I'd rather make something that I know is the best quality possible. And that's what i have done with Enemies of Self. That's what I've done with Shadow of the Conqueror. That's what I'm going to be doing with the future volumes. And your support will help enable me to do that. Get the best artists, best writers, make the best quality media and stories that we can to just give that escapism and the stories that we love that inspire us to want to be better. That's my goal, all right? And so thank you to everyone who has supported uh, Enemies of Self. It, it's on Indiegogo. Link's in the description. Grab your copy if you haven't. And I can't wait to get them to you. Thanks, guys.